We're going to do two things in the next two lessons. We're going to refactor ng on init in this lesson so that it's a lot cleaner and a lot easier to read. And then we're going to refactor our validations a little bit so that we can kind of make them a little bit more scalable when we want to move into more validation errors and maybe multiple languages in the future. For now, we're going to clean up ng on init and this will be fairly quick. Let's move all this out of ng on init and we're going to build a new method. We'll create the build form method here. And now if we move everything out of here in the ng on init, we'll cut all that out and paste it here. Now it's clear that in ng on init, we're going to say this dot build form. Data model for our form. Now we've gotten it to be that much simpler. We can open up this file, look at ng on init, and see exactly what happens when this component gets activated. Let's clean up build form a little bit now. All of this stuff right here is really just validation. So let's create a new method. We'll call it validate form. Now let's take everything inside of this function right here. We're going to take all of this paste it into validate form. We don't need that console log anymore since it won't work. And here we can do this dot validate form. Now we can see that build form is going to build out the form and then we're going to look for value changes and we're checking, we're subscribing to that observable and we're going to validate the form whenever that form is changed. Now the reason I didn't do value changes subscribe inside of validate form is maybe in the future we might want to expand this out and do a little bit more inside of here. So we can validate form and maybe do anything else that our form needs inside of our observable subscription. For now, since we're only validating form, we can one line it and make that that much cleaner. Now we've gotten a little bit of refactoring, a little bit cleaner code. So we have this build form and we can look at our build form method and see that in here, we're just validating the form and all of our validations are going to go into this method here. We could even clean these up a little bit more and one line these, even though these get a little bit longer. And do the same for the username. While that's a little bit cleaner, it's definitely not the most readable thing in the world. We're going to clean up this validate form method in the next lesson so that it's far more manageable.